What's up guys, Adam at Tailwater Outfitters. Today, we're looking at these two reels and we're gonna see if the Osprey CE Pro can dethrone the king of the $200 reel market. So this Stratic is the reel that is our number one selling reel by a huge margin. It is so popular, the price point around 200 bucks, very attainable for a lot of people. And what you get for $200 in this reel is just so good. The value is so good. The reel is so smooth. It is sealed very well. It holds up so well. And it's just an incredibly popular reel. But this reel, this is the newest flagship reel from Florida Fishing Products. It's the Osprey CE Pro. And this reel was designed for one thing, to take away the popularity of this reel. So we're gonna go through some specs, we're gonna see how they feel, and we're gonna see if the new CE Pro can do that. So like I said, this is our most popular reel that we sell. And again, it's not by a tiny margin, it is by an absolutely gigantic margin. It's been a staple in almost every fisherman's quiver for such a long time. They've been making this reel for so long. I got a couple of old ones on the shelf behind me that are white. There was the gunmetal with a little bit of gold even before that. Uh, there's the wooden handle ones before that. Um, everyone knows these reels and probably if you've been fishing for any extended period of time, you've probably owned one, you've probably fished one. Um, and let's be honest, they're phenomenal reels. They're amazing. Shimano's a top tier brand, top notch brand with some top notch products. Florida Fishing Products, on the other hand, is definitely newer to the market. So you might not be familiar with them. They've been around for about six or eight years now and they've been putting some really, really good stuff out. Now, if you're familiar with them early on, right when they started, they're a totally different brand than that now. Their early reels, they, I mean, they had issues. They were not that great to begin with. The reels they've been putting out now are so good. They're so much better than the old reels that they were getting. They're an amazing company. They're very, very cool. They work out of Tampa. All their facility, everything they do is out of Tampa. The reels are overseas, but all their company is based out of Tampa, which is amazing. They're a smaller company with only a handful of employees they are owned by fishermen that is the biggest deal they, they know what they do they are on the water they know what people like us want because they're the ones out there fishing just as much as people like us are Another super cool thing is they donate to conservation. So they really wanna do their part to make sure that we're out there catching those redfish, those snook, those tarpon for many, many generations to come. So they currently have three reels to bring to the table. They have the Salos, they have the Bahia, and then they have this Osprey CE Pro, which is their flagship reel. So let's take a look at the CE Pro. Let's go over specs. The one I've got for this video is a 2500 size and the Stratix the same thing. Uh, but let's go over some of these specs for the 2500 size of these reels and see how they compare from that standpoint. So the gear ratio of the CE Pro 2500 is 6.2 to 1. It has 22 pounds of drag. It weighs 7.65 ounces. It holds 190 yards of 15 pound braid, has 11 bearings, two of them which are sealed, which is on the roller bearing and the main drive bearing, and it costs $239. So now let's take a look at the ever loved and ever so popular Stratic. Again, this is a 2500, so all the specs that we're mentioning are for this size reel. So we've got a gear ratio of 5.8 to one. We've got 20 pounds of drag. We've got a weight of 7.8 pounds. It holds 145 yards of 15 pound line, has seven bearings, and it costs $219. So now let's get these reels in the hand. Let's see how they feel. All right, so here's the Stratic in hand, and you know, it feels good. It feels like a Stratic. It feels very familiar. I fish these a lot. I mean, I know exactly what to expect when I pick one up. So, I mean, it definitely feels like lightweight. It's not overly lightweight. It's not like a Vanford or anything like that, but it does feel, you know, fairly lightweight in the hand. It's super, super smooth. I mean, that's the first thing that hits my mind when I think of Shimano reels and I grab one, it's just the overall smoothness is great. Startup inertia is good. It doesn't take a lot to, you know, start, you know, that reeling action with the handle. It just wants to start immediately. It's very light. You know, normal oscillation like you'd expect in most reels. But, uh, you know, great looking reel, obviously. Silver, a little bit of that navy, gray, you know, sort of color on there. But, uh, no, great looking reel. Again, feels great in the hand. Bail action's very good. You know, super assisted there. Uh, let's check the drag. Okay. 
Sounds good. It's not overly loud, you know, not overly obnoxious like some of the reels out there. I mean, an offshore reel, I like that, but on an inshore reel, I like something like that. A little softer, a little quieter, but you definitely know when a fish is taking line. So overall feels great in the hand and, you know, exactly what you would expect in a Stratic. All right, now here's the Osprey CE Pro in the hand. I know it's lighter in spec, but I don't know that I can feel that difference, you know? It's like 0.15 ounces. It's not like a whole ounce or a half ounce or anything. So I don't think I can feel that. I mean, maybe artificially I feel it just because I know it's lighter, but I don't think it's gonna make a big difference or a big feeling difference in the hand, but very smooth. That startup inertia feels very similar to a Stratic. Just, you know, very lightweight to start that action. And this one even wants to reel like that. Look at that. So super smooth. I don't feel like it's quite as smooth as, as a Stratic. There's something that just doesn't qu feel quite as, uh, what's the word, maybe stable. Uh, I mean, it's not loose or anything, but there's it feels there's a little bit more movement in that reeling action than there is in a Stratic, so just something to note. But the handle feels almost identical, which I really like this handle. That's all you know, subjective and personal, but I like the handle a lot. But let's check the bail. Feels very similar to a Stratic. Now this does have the much thicker wire, but that's hollow. I mean, it's very similar to Daiwa's air bail, if not the exact same thing. But so it looks heavy duty, looks bulky. I'm sure it's very heavy duty, but it's very, very lightweight. But another really, really good looking reel. It's kind of this gunmetal almost color, but it's like a, it's like a cool color. It's got a little bit of blue in there, but I mean, super, super sharp. Um, feels great in the hand. Now let's check drag on it. Sounds good. A little bit louder than the Stratic, but it's still muffled. It's not like a, um, a doorbell or a bicycle bell kind of sound. It's, you know, very tight. A little bit louder. Really like that. But no, overall feels great. You know, extremely lightweight. Really like it. So having said all that, here's some considerations to think about. This gets a little bit of talk online. You've probably seen information on this. You might not have, but the drag on this Shimano Stratic has felt drag washers in it, which is not a great thing to say. It's not a great thing to see, um, but clearly, as you can see in this tight shot here, they are felt drag washers. So it's very, very, I mean, it's super, super smooth. I love the feel of the drag. I've caught plenty of fish on this reel and it's extremely smooth. I just wonder about longevity is really the question here with the felt washers. It's a very popular thing. People are taking the felt washers out, putting carbon washers in. I mean, carbon's kind of the standard when it comes to fishing reel drags. It is the best material for it. So that's not my favorite spec about the Stratic, to be totally honest. Uh, I don't love that it has felt drag washers. Now that is not an issue with the CE Pro. As you can see here, it has these really big carbon drag washers. Uh, that's something you like to see at a reel this price point. I feel like the drag is gonna be more robust. It definitely has a couple more pounds of capacity there, but the disc is definitely larger in diameter. So I think they're just getting more friction out of a disc that's bigger in diameter. Um, but the carbon fiber, I feel like, is gonna hold up so much better over time as opposed to the felt in the Stratic. Here's another consideration as far as customer service is concerned. They're not a giant company like Shimano. Shimano's got hundreds of dealers across the country. They've probably got tens of thousands of employees in the country. Florida Fishing Products is not that. They've got less than 10 people working there. But here's the big thing. They have an in-house service base out of their Tampa office. So if you need any service on this reel, here's what they do. It's $45 for the life of the reel. You send the reel back to Tampa. Again, Tampa, it's not going anywhere else. Tampa, which a lot of us are in Florida, uh, makes it very quick, very easy. But they'll do a full rebuild on the reel, whatever it needs, seals, bearings, drag washers, whatever it needs, I mean, they determine what it needs. Uh, but they will replace all those parts included in that $45 service. Shimano's not like that. They've got some authorized service centers, you know, throughout the country. So I'm sure that fluctuates price-wise a little bit, but you're gonna have to go find where your service center's at. Hopefully you have one close. You're gonna have to take the reel to them, give it to them for who knows how long. It could be really quick if you got a great place. Uh, it could be a you know, super backed up place, kind of like going to get your oil changed. You could walk in, get it done, and get the reel back real quick, or they could have a giant backlog and it takes them a while to get to it. Florida Fishing Products, it's usually about a week turnaround time from when you send the reel to when you receive it. 
Don't quote me on that, but it's generally about a week is kind of your expectation that you need to have. But for guys that fish all the time, for captains out there, if you're really, really putting your gear through its paces, I mean, the saltwater environment's harsh. No matter what type of reel, no matter how nice it is, no matter how cheap it is, the saltwater is going to wreak havoc on that gear over a certain time frame. things are gonna fail. So having a support system in place that's, again, local to us, I know not everybody's local, but is huge. I mean, these guys send their reels back, some of them a couple times a year because they're catching so many fish. Fish are burning a lot of drag out of that reel on a daily basis. It's kind of a no-brainer to have service like that for a product like that that you rely on to make your living every day. So let me know in the comments, which reel are you gonna gravitate to? They feel very similar, like I said. There's definitely a couple better specs on the CE Pro. They knew what they were doing. They were trying to beat it out in a few ways, and I think they did. But I think the big thing is the service. The product's great, don't get me wrong, but the selling point here is 100% the service to have local support whenever you need it. Links to both of these reels are in the description. They both ship for free at tailwatershop.com. Let us know what you think, though. Which one of these reels are you gonna get? Let us know in the comments. Please subscribe, it helps the channel so much, and we'll catch you in the next video.